Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another Aphelium Beginner Guide where we're going to go ahead and talk through stickers and blending and really elevating your game. This is an often missed part of the game as far as blending and using stickers and being able to get those to really upgrade your gear within the game, whether it's accessories or items that you keep in your land. This is just often overlooked, so we want to go ahead and cover this in detail so you know everything that you should know in order to really elevate your game. But before we jump into the video, please take the, a quick look at this disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please make sure you do your own research before you jump into any project. Don't take my word for it. Just make sure it's right for your situation. All right, as I mentioned, there, most of the people spend their days within the Discord and sometimes within the website and completely forget about this part of the game itself. Uh, but I want to go ahead and do a quick video on it. There's also a guide out there that you can get to through the Aphelium uh, website, or I'll have a link in the description down below so you can go ahead and check it out. Uh, but there, there's stickers and there's blends out there to really uh, upgrade your equipment that you have or create new accessories that are out there. The key component for this one is going to be the actual stickers themselves. And, and I hear a lot and I see a lot within the Discord, where on earth do we get these stickers that are going to be needed for these blends? So there's a couple ways you can go ahead and get the stickers. First of all, the monthly Zelly events. They have these all the time. They're great events throughout the game, uh, really either posting on social media, things like that, just kind of get you involved in the community. Uh, you get rewards for that. So you can go ahead and get uh, one sticker for every 100 points you get in the Zelly uh, events. Also, secondary market, the obvious way. You can go ahead and grab them off the secondary market or trade with someone else. And the last way is really from uh, trophies or, or prizes from the leaderboard. And the one thing that I did want to note here is that they are not ever sold by the, the project team, which it says here on the in this Medium article. Uh, but a lot of people get confused with that. They want to know where they can go ahead and buy them. They go ahead and look for drops on Nefty and they can't ever find them. So that's why I really wanted to focus and cover on this uh, early in this video so you know how to get the stickers because they're going to be incredibly important for all the blend options that are out there. If you go ahead and scroll down this Medium article, you'll see a number of different things that kind of explain the different blends that are out there and, and talk through what, what the requirements are. I'm not going to go through those in painstaking details. You can go ahead and check that out in the, in the, the document. Uh, really look for the ones that you're, you're taking a look for. So as you're going through these, these items that you can see with, within this list as far as the blending goes, there's one critical thing that you need to go ahead and take a look at for each of them because they're all slightly different and it's critical because you could accidentally burn something that you're not supposed to burn. When you go down this document, it's going to actually let you know if you should burn it to get it in your inventory or if you should not burn it to get it in your inventory. Please, please, please double check the list before you do any burning within the game because you could go ahead and lose one of your main blends that you're super excited about. For example, you went ahead and got this Lucky Charm. You're excited to go ahead and have a chance to get those rare access to the rare lands or a better percentage chance to the rare lands. Uh, and you go ahead and burn it because you think that's what you're supposed to do, you're going to lose it, unfortunately. So so go ahead and make sure that you take a look through this list. You'll see a number of, number of them are highlighted saying, do not burn, so don't burn those. All right, now let's actually talk about the blends themselves. Like I said, there's a couple components that you're going to need for them. The main component is going to be the stickers. Go ahead to the three routes that we mentioned before. You can go ahead and get your stickers. The easiest route is obviously the secondary market, but it's going to cost you. Zelly routes actually a, a really easy one. Also, you just have to participate in those events and you'll get those for every hundred points that you get in there. Once you have your stickers, you can go over to Nefty Blocks and check out the, the different types of blends that they have. It's as simple as going and typing and here Aphelium. It's going to take you to their main page and you're going to want to go ahead to blends and you can go ahead and check out the wide array of different items that they have. I'm going to focus on the storage chest. Uh, or the starter chest because that's I, I need to go ahead and get another one of those. But you have everything from accessories that you can go ahead and boost up your your character and your, your gameplay. Like I said, the Lucky Charm gives you uh, a 30% chance increase in chance to go in rare lands instead of commons and uncommons. Uh, you have other things that are in here also that you can go ahead and explore through. Um, those are accessories that you can get. You can also upgrade your suit and equipment uh, by doing that. Uh, you go ahead and you can add, you can use more accessories with your astronaut, or if you upgrade your bag, that means you can carry more, you have more slots and more capacity overall. 
And then the storage chest, as I mentioned, is another one that you can go ahead and put on your land. And when people use your land, you can actually hold on to more items so you don't lose them. Uh, the last type of blend that they have is actually consumables. These will go ahead and reboost your energy. Uh, and they, they all cost different amounts, which you can go ahead and check out. And the nice thing is that they are going through the process of adding new blends uh, pretty often. Like they just recently added the, the tea blend in here. Uh, I know they are also adding other blends here in the near future. So you can go ahead and check them out. Check it out regularly. Keep an eye on the Discord and they'll give you all the details. So as far as doing the blend itself, like I said, I'm going to do the starter chest, which is going to give me additional capacity uh, within my land, one of my lands. Uh, so you can go ahead and check out here and you can see the first component that you need, stickers. We already talked about how to get those. Uh, also, you can go ahead and get... Uh, the other item in this case is a starter chest. You have a couple options there. You can go ahead and grab it from the drop page uh, on Nefty for Ophelium, or you can go ahead and get it in the secondary market. I went ahead and already grabbed two of those, so I, I already have those available for this blend. Uh, essentially, what's going to happen is I'm going to take the, the starter chest, which gives me 30 slots, and each slot can hold up to 500. And what it's going to do is it's up, going to upgrade it to uh, the, the plus, the starter plus chest, uh, which is going to go ahead and give me 40 slots. And each slot can go ahead and hold 750. So it's a huge increase in capacity when you go ahead and upgrade to the starter one. So, and most of you have already done some sort of blend within Nefty Blocks, but I wanted to go ahead and just show you how to do it just to make sure that you are good to go with it. Um, if you don't have the options, it's going to go ahead and down here and let you know that you don't have uh, the components that you need. So you can go ahead and see I do have five items selected, which is the requirement. You need five stickers in order to go ahead and do this blend. And then you, you need two of the starter, regular starter chests that you can get off the drop or the secondary market. Uh, so you can see I have all the components. So what I'm going to go ahead and just simply do is click on blend. It's going to go ahead and suck it all in there checking the transaction and it went ahead and gave me my uncommon blend that I have out there, which gives me the, the much larger storage capacity. And I'll go ahead and stake that on my land, just like you would stake any other equipment to your land. So that's as simple as what uh, the blends are. The key component that everybody gets confused on is the, the stickers. Um, so make sure that you do have enough stickers. Some require more stickers than others. So please be aware of that. For example, I'm going to jump back here and we'll just talk about this timekeepers. So if you go ahead and click on that, it does take some components that you can go ahead and craft within the game, but then it's going to take 60 stickers. So each one's going to be a little bit different, but they are all, they all upgrade your characters. They all upgrade your lands and give you uh, some benefits one way or the other and or, or I, I find are very useful within the game. I hope this was helpful for those of you that are, were a little confused about the blends and how to get the stickers. Um, I hope you all have a great day. Go ahead down in the comments below and let me know if you have any questions related to this or if there's any other beginner topics that you want to hear about. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.